Alright guys, I am back for another video for Life is Strange, so we'll just go in, um, talk. Max, open the window and we can blow this popsicle stand. Totally, we're going through the window. So if you guys don't remember, last time I took the blame for um, having pot. I guess. I don't know. That's the same lighthouse. This is like the fourth time I've seen it by now. There's seagulls. Look at that sunset though. Beautiful. You're... That eye, though. <laughs> Isn't this awesome, Sauce? Totally reminds me of when we were kids. Come on, Slowpoke! Hold on! Uh, what's, what's wrong? I haven't been here in forever. So why do I feel like I was just here? Bro, it was in oh. your dream. This is the exact same path I was on during my nightmare today. Exactly. So we're going back home. If there's a way. Let's see what is this? People can be such pigs. Agreed. They haven't updated this sign since the 1980s. All right, let's just oh wait, what's that? <gasps> It's a birdie. I got you. Blue Jay. I think. That's a Blue Jay. Maximum aperture. Hello, cute little squirrel. <gasps> you and me. Stare contest. Uh, he lost. <laughs> the lighthouse. I feel like I'm in my nightmare again. Dang. Uh, what's up here? Oh, uh, what? That <laughs> boy. <laughs> Kick. Okay. Birds are so lucky, they can always escape. Mm. Wowzer, Chloe drew that to mark our tree for it, so we'd always be able to find each other in case of emergency. <sighs> Aww. Where is Chloe anyways? Looks like the youth of Arcadia Bay still come up here to party. I never made it. How long has that been here? Oh, she's on the bench. <gasps> Looking into the sunset. Clearly, the Bigfoots are everywhere. Wait, what? Those sure aren't big feet. What kind of animal left those prints? Oh man, bear. Well, let's just go say hi to Chloe. Oh yeah. Too bad this. it's locked. I remember racing up and down the steps. Looking off into the sunset. Oh wait, I can't go over there. Let's see what's up. Hi, Chloe. This would be a nice photo of Chloe, framed by the sun. You sure you don't want to be alone? Have a seat, Pete. Uh... Dang, I would say either one of these. My pleasure. My pleasure. Feels nice out here after all that drama. You really took one for Team Chloe. I'm not as brave as you. And David is indeed a step douche. I'm sorry you had to experience it firsthand. You have to live with him. Has he always been this way? Ever since my desperate mom dragged his ass to our home. Oh. I never trusted David.
He freaked out on poor Kate Marsh today. I know her. She's cool. Only that prick would bully her. Mm -hmm. He has some kind of weird agenda. He has a lot of secret files. Rambo still thinks he's gathering enemy intelligence. Did you take a peek? Uh, uh files? I know that look. You peeked. Uh, so, dish the dirt. Snuff videos? Creepy photos of Kate Marsh. Other Blackwell students. This dude oh. takes his job too seriously. He still thinks he's at war or something. He's a total surveillance fetish. Or are there spy cams in the house? I knew you didn't know. Chloe, your house is under surveillance. What are you mm. talking about? There are cameras all over the house. I saw it on a monitor in the garage. I knew it. He's so hella fucking paranoid. I'll keep this a secret for now. Sometimes ignorance is bliss. No wonder I'm so miserable. Everybody in this town knows everybody's secrets. Mm. Uh... Even yours? Not anymore. So what do you have on Nathan? He's an elite asshole who sells bad shit cut with laxative. Laxative? And he dosed me with some drug in his room. What? I met him in some shithole bar that didn't card me. He was too rich for the place and too wasted and he kept flashing bills. Just tell me what happened, Chloe. Now. Now? I thought he was so blazed it would be an easy score. You needed money that bad? Actually, yes. I owe big time. And I thought I'd have enough for me and Rachel if she showed up. I don't want to go with the money. So, what about you and Nathan? We went to his room at Blackwell. We drank, and I laughed at his rich kid bullshit. He was one step ahead and put something in my beer. God, Chloe. I can't believe this. I mean, I do. Then what? I know I passed out on the floor. I woke up and that perv was smiling, crawling towards me with a camera. Mm. Go on. Everything was a blur. I tried to kick him in the balls and broke a lamp. Nathan freaked, so I managed to bum rush the door and get the hell out. Oh. <sighs> Max, it was insane. Uh, my answer. If someone did that. If it was a close friend, I would be mad. I'm so furious, I can't even speak. What did you do then? I figured I would make him pay me to keep quiet. So we met in the bathroom. And he brought a gun. That was Nathan's last mistake. He's still dangerous, Chloe. Not just to you. Oh, good thing you notified the principal. I feel safer already. Uh, I won't always be there to save you. You were here today, Max. You saved me. I'm still tripping on that. Seeing you after all these years feels like... Destiny. Destiny! The pet. On the back. The bestie. Uh, uh, yes. If this is destiny, I hope we can find Rachel. I miss her, Max. This shit pit has taken away everyone I've ever loved. I'd like to drop a bomb on Arcadia Bay and turn it to fucking glass. Uh, um... Oh um. no! Not again! Oh, what? <laughs> Um... Why is this happening to me? Did, like, a tree fall on me? Or something? Why am I here again? No, a bowl. Wait, that's it. Deer. Um... Follow the deer! Uh, is Chloe still oh. out there? I have to find out. Oh boy. Fuck. Ah, uh, it's gonna be okay.
This is insane. <laughs> Go under. I've never seen a storm like this in Oregon. Um, where can we go? Uh. Oh wait, so I'm going the wrong way. Probably, maybe I just have to bone rush the tree. The deer. The deer. Oh! I feel like the dome's leading me. Yes. Lead me, deer. Lead me. Oh my lord! The tornado is back! Um. Max, what's going on? You totally blacked out. I didn't black out. I had another vision. The town is going to get wiped out by a tornado. Oregon gets about five tornadoes every 20 years. You just zoned. No, no, I saw it. I could actually feel the electricity in the air. Come on, take a breath, okay? Chloe, I'm not crazy. But there's something else I have to tell you. Something hardcore. Talk to me, Max. I had the same vision earlier in class. When I came out of it, I discovered I could reverse time. Like I said, not crazy. But hi, right? Listen to me, how do you think I saved you in the bathroom? By reversing time? Yeah, sure. I saw you get shot, Chloe. Saw you actually die. I was able to go back and hit the fire alarm. Okay, I see you're a geek now with a great imagination, uh, but this isn't anime or a video game. Anime. You don't have those powers, Max. I don't know what I have, but I have it. And I'm scared shitless. You need to get high. It's been a hell insane fucking day. Oh, she doesn't believe me. Snow. What the hell is this? Snowflakes? It's like 80 degrees. How? Climate change. Or a storm is coming. Max, start from the beginning. <gasps> She's gonna everything. believe me. Maybe Rachel knew a storm was coming, so she was like, I gotta bounce. But I mean, she wouldn't leave her friends behind. I don't 
know what happened. Oh, I finished the episode, I guess. Can we skip this? Alright. What's this? What? Oh, I guess this is like... All the stuff... To, um... Like, online, like, it compares... The percent who did what and all that. So... I... Uh, yeah, so I did the generally good thing, reported him. Uh, I conf confronted... Uh, no, confronted... Uh, whatever, I can't speak today. Which is good, uh-huh. Then I intervened, uh-huh. Then I took the blame for Kate. That's sort of popular. There was a, actually a hi hiding spot? What? I... Don't know. Now uh, let's see. Daniel. Oh. You signed. Aha. Uh -huh. Aha. Uh -huh. You already. S oh. I didn't water my plant. Boy. <laughs> You didn't write when I did. Huh? You let the bird. I let the bird die! You broke clothes. You didn't break clothes. Snow globe. You didn't leave any evidence. Uh, you read David's. Um. I don't know. Oh boy, that noise. Um, Chloe? <laughs> um, let's continue. Is not installed. Um, I guess I'm gonna be back, guys. Um, bye. Alright guys, we are back for episode 2, where our bestie got ran over by a train, apparently. So, we're gonna see what's wrong with this right now. When it loads. In the previous episode of Life is Strange. Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! <laughs> Called Phil Whoa. Little Pieces what of What the time. fuck? But he could be talking about photography. Or have you done something wrong? Talk to me. Hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, oh, and leave me alone. For reals, Warren, this is between you and me. Don't insult me. Max, go on. Hey, leave him alone. Max? Chloe? It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Welcome home, The Max. recap. That's Rachel Amber. Her missing person posters are all over Blackwell. Six months ago, she just left Arcadia. Without a word. Without me. Something happened to her. Wait! Is that grass? Tell me the truth. That's an order. I didn't black out. I had another vision. The town is going to get wiped out by a tornado. Max, tell me everything. Everything. And then, based on, uh, yes. <sighs> Let's see what's going to happen. All right, we waking up. Snooze. Another day at school, perhaps? Oh, yeah. The 
Does that say do or do? I guess this is a way to open up a new episode. Well, I mean, it's not new, but whatever. Life is strange. Out of time. Boy, wake up. We getting up. Being a superhero is dirty work. I need a shower. Shower? Where is the shower? Oh, wait. I think I gotta go out here. I better not leave without my shower supplies. Oh, we got messages. Uh, let's, let's go back. Mrs. Hoida is still out sick. I heard somebody say she has severe depression. Poor thing. Aww. Alright, uh, supplies, where are you? Um, I would keep my supplies. Drawer! It would be fun to get some peeps together and play a real game, instead of drama game. Um... Where else do we keep this? Maybe it's just lying around somewhere. Oh, here we go. <laughs> it was in my face. Okay, Max. Let's hit the showers now. We go in in the shower. Seriously, do not forget I need those papers before tonight. Like now. Thanks, Sherry. Yeah, of course, Victoria. I'll get the tasks and papers to you this afternoon. Mm. I'm so on it. Consider it done. Hi, miss. Ow! Wait, what? One quick rewind and I could stop this TP attack. We're going in. Alyssa, can you stand over there? Um, okay, Max, if that makes you happy. Wow, now that was close. Thank you, Max. The second time saving. Uh, not this. I feel like it's gonna be more about she's gonna find me out and know that I have powers. But we go in in the shower. Hopefully, I won't be able to see anything. But hey, yeah. Kate. How are you doing? I'm here. Thanks again for standing up for me yesterday. I needed that. Ah. Anytime. That guy has issues. Doesn't everybody here? By the way, Max, do you still have my copy of the October Country? Oh, yes, of course. It's great so far. I didn't realize Bradbury was such a poet. Can you please bring it back to my room this morning? I just need to take some notes for class. Absolutely. I'll bring it by later. Oh, yeah. Now we're going in the shower.
we go win in the shower. The cheap shower. Well, it's a dorm after all, so... Yeah. And then we just had Kate there. What's up, Kate? School. That's it? That video of you clubbing didn't look like homework. Victoria, that wasn't me. Oh my god, right. Oh. Don't be shy. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. <laughs> you're going to be sorry someday. Oh, boo-hoo. I'm sorry you're a viral slut. I'm sure she had fun. Looks like it. I know Nathan hooked her up. And you know he has the good shit. Preach it, sister. Yup, oh, I still have goddamn paint all over my face. Good thing my faithful minions took their sweet time bringing me a towel. We ran all the way- Give it a rest, Taylor. Now I know mm. if I'm in an accident, I won't rely on you or Courtney for help. You can hang out with Kate. Or Max. What? She's a weirdo with that dumb camera. Uh. I hate that I'm so quirky crap. Anyway, let's leave the link to Kate's video so everybody gets a chance to see her in action. You are such an evil biatch. I love it. Boy. <laughs> Boy, how can you remember a link? Like, who <laughs> remembers that stuff? I better get dressed and go give back Kate's book. Hello? Water? Sorry. I forgot. Wait, what? Oh. The other people are using showers. Um. Even if I can stop one person from watching it, it's worth it. Yes. <gasps> or should I re- Psych, no one needs to see that. <laughs> Whatever that was. Um, so we go back to my room to change? I guess? Oh yeah, I gotta give her back her, um, thingy. I'm guessing that's it. Nobody messes with me. Uh, no fucking way. This is not why I came to Blackwell. And I still have to clean all this crap up after I find Kate's book. Oh wait, this is um Nathan. Man, this could almost be art if it wasn't so fucking sick and disturbed. Oh shit, Nathan's revenge. Even Chloe told me not to go to the principal. Um, let's My see. desk is a pigsty, but I know it ain't there. No. Papers? <laughs> and nothing here. Um, over here? <sighs> of course she just spilled soda on Kate's book. I better fix this fast. Kate needs oh, the yeah. book, and I don't want to add to her list of problems. Be gone, oh, foul soft yeah. drink. We we doing this? Aha, you sneaky book. You're mine. All right, and now we bring in this to Miss Kate. I need to get dressed before I go there. Oh, um, closet. Oh wait, where did I just pass it? Drawer. It would be fun to get some peeps together and oh. play a real game instead of drama games. Or maybe we just go in the shower. I mean, uh, this drawer. Oh, wait. Uh-oh. The, the... I wonder if I'll ever wear a watch again. 
get dressed. Maybe I'll just put on a shirt and jeans. Hey, Einstein had the same exact suit for every day of the week. And he couldn't even rewind time. Hmm. Let us go. Now we gotta find where Kate lives. Now I can finally take this back to Kate before I'm late. As if I, I have escape. to worry about being late anymore. Private I do number. have all the time in the world now. Happy birthday. Oh. And then there's a private number. Keep here. Boy. Oh, shit. Now I'm getting anonymous threats? It never ends. This has to be from Nathan. Oh, but wait. it could be anybody. The plant. I better be doubly careful around here, or I could be in serious danger. <sighs> if I'm not already. You're okay. Can I not look at the plant? Ah, uh, whatever. Let's just go. I'm coming for you, Kate. Let's see. Kate, Kate, Kate. Kate? You in there? Yes, I'm here. Come in, Max. She sounds so sad. Time to go through all her stuff. Kate is all alone dealing with this video bullshit. I hope her mother doesn't disown her. Uh... Huh. I'm sorry. Kate used to play the violin every morning. She stopped last week. Oh no, the depression. <gasps> Bible? <gasps> oh yeah, she had a cross Kate under her neck. Kate even makes notes really. in her Bible. My parents never once took me to church. I had nothing to rebel against. I don't know what to believe now. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened. I will give you rest. When justice is close, when justice is done, it brings joy to the rightness, but terror to the evil to us. Uh, ignore that little. It's one. way too emo in here. Kate isn't that gloomy. <laughs> too emo. Until lately. Okay. Uh, we're here, Kate, for you. Uh, we're we're Kate, here. Kate, I brought your book. Max, why did you step in between David and me yesterday? Was that a bad choice? I hate bullies. David Madsen should know better. I was hoping he would. But it's nice to see that you care about me. Kate, yes. I actually do care. So, what's the story with you and David? Well, he's a total paranoid ass. He thinks I'm part of the Vortex Club. Yeah, right. Uh, I'ma just say why. Why does he think that? Because he saw the video. Oh, okay. You know how humiliating this is for me? I know this sucks, Kate, but... Tell me about the video and maybe I can help. Basically, I went to one Vortex Club party and ended up making out with a bunch of people. Oh, no. And I have no memory of it. That's awful. That's awful. So, how did that happen? It's a long story. I'm still trying to sort it all out. You have to tell me more than that. What happened at the party? Did you drink? She's getting nosy. I swear to God, I had one sip of red wine. And then I drank water. Yeah, it'd Not be enough like... to get wasted, is it? I don't get wasted. Ever. I take a sip at church, and I don't end up on a viral video, okay? Did somebody drug you? I remember... I remember getting sick and dizzy. Go on. Then Nathan Prescott said he would take me to the hospital. Come in. Be right back. Nathan Prescott? Oh, shit. Yes. He was being nice for a change when he offered to help me. He's the opposite of nice. 
What next? All I recall is driving for a long time. And I woke up in a room. I thought it was a hospital because it was so white and bright. Go on. I'm listening. Somebody was talking to me in a soft voice. I thought it was a doctor. Uh, what until happened? I, I was gone. Nathan and felt a sharp sting in my neck. And. And. And? That's all I remember. I don't know what happened. I woke so up outside my dorm room the next day. I didn't have any marks or bruises, but I felt gross. So, who took the video of you at the party? I have no idea. Probably Victoria. She was there being her mean self. Jesus, Kate. I'm sorry. This is serious shit. Mm. How do I get a viral video taken down? I know it's already spreading. What if my church sees that? I need to know what to do. Kate, we'll figure it out. I'll check back later, okay? She's Thanks, Max. Seems like you can put my book here near my bag. She like this situation seems like a suicide thing. Um I don't know. So Max, can I ask you a question? And please be honest. Yes. Absolutely, Kate. Anything. I need to find out if Nathan Prescott helped me or hurt me after that party. Should I go to the police? No, before she goes to the police, she should look for proof. If you do that, they won't believe you. You're on video grabbing at all those guys and they'll use that against you. Bad. But I know I was drugged. That's what you have to prove, not them. I'm just telling you how the cops in school will look at this. The video doesn't exactly back you up. You make me feel so hopeless. No, no, Kate. I just don't want you to get hurt anymore. That seems impossible at this point. So that's your answer? I, I think we should wait. There are other things going on that might help you. But not right now. So I can walk down the halls with people calling me a viral slut. Thanks, Max. Oh, no. Did I mess up? I think I messed up. Good job, Dr. Max. She didn't like what I had to say, but we need more proof of what happened. Exactly. Jesus, this is intense. If Kate wasn't out of it and is actually telling the truth. I'm sorry, Kate. I will be back. I'll, I'll give you proof. Um, so we gotta meet at the, yeah. <laughs> Let's go. I'm just gonna walk into this lady's room, because I'm a savage. Whatever they're watching must be hot stuff. Hello, Juliet. Hey, Max, did you check out Kate's hot video yet? That's so not cool. I didn't get wasted on camera and get busy with the Vortex Club. Kate's not like that and you know it. Really? Check her out and tell me what she's like. Do you believe everything you see? Like Zachary sexting Dana? Touché. Now I feel like an ass. Thanks for finding out the truth yesterday. Uh... Are you sure? I thought you'd be pissed. Not at you. Part of me was almost disappointed because I built up so much rage. Glad to see you're back in action. You have a good heart, Max. And I won't watch Kate's video anymore. Or pass it on. That's yeah. the spirit. Thanks, Juliet. Sure. Talk to you later. Yay. Okay, let's just go to the thing where Chloe is. Hey, hey Brooke. Brooke. Oh, hi, Max. Did you see the freak snowfall yesterday? I was riveted by that weird snow flurry yesterday. I can't tell if you're being serious or not. Um, since I'm a science noob, I was wondering if you could explain it. I'm serious. Even meteorologists can't explain that snow. I bet Warren can. Did you talk to him yet? No, not at all. He's my friend, not my mother. True. 
And Warren really loves to talk meteorology with me, since I'm one of the few who can talk back. Mm. <laughs> talk to you later, Max. Yes, ma'am. We going in... We going to Wales, I guess. The birds... Ah, uh, people. Ooh, there's a um, bird. The birds are flocking around Samuel. Hey, Samuel, you're up early. Oh, Samuel. Hello, young Max. I do love the early morning. Everything is so calm and quiet. When to go? I can feel the animals waking up with me. That's one thing I truly love about Arcadia Bay. It's all those cool animals in the forest. The squirrels always come in the morning for food. I can hear them whisper. What animals do you see in the forest? Don't the laugh, dish. but I saw a doe that seemed to be looking right at me. Like it was trying to communicate. Oh, that's your spirit animal. Nothing weird there except you saw yours. Could be a sign huh. about your destiny. <laughs> what do I know? My spirit animal is a squirrel. Uh, snow. So, what did you think about that freak snow shower yesterday? Another message from the Earth to get our shit together. <laughs> I will say that Samuel hasn't seen anything like that before. I so don't want to get in the way of your morning ritual. See you later. Of course you will. Okay, let's see. Uh-huh. I'm moving on. Hey, Miss Taylor. Hi, Taylor. Hi, Taylor. Just because you were nice to Victoria doesn't mean I have to be nice to you. Well, sorry to exist, Taylor. On that, we agree. Do you mind? Leaving? Thanks. Uh, dang, I got, um, roasted. Ooh. This is Oh man. Oh man. Max, get over here. Hey, Warren. Warren, what are you doing here? Oh, nothing. Waiting. For a call? I mean, I already took the call. Anyway, I wanted to rap about that action yesterday. Um, thank you. By the way, thank you for stepping in. You were pretty badass, Warren. I owe you. Is this Oh, couple? yes, you do. I got knocked on my ass by that dick. I'm some personal superhero. You're a real everyday hero. You stood up to a bully, and it was awesome. Even though you left me with said bully and ran off with that girl, she's pretty punk rock. How do you know her? An old uh. friend, Chloe Price. We haven't seen each other in a while. I bet you were glad to see her blast up in that truck like a rock star. Hmm. Which begs the question, why is Nathan Prescott getting psycho on you? Um... I busted him in the bathroom yesterday with a gun. I'll give you the story later. Principal Wells is taking care of it now, I hope. Weird fucking week. Like that bizarro snowfall yesterday? Speaking of dystopia, that drive-in is having a 70s Planet of the Apes marathon. Planet of the Apes. Let's go ape! Sure. Yes, that's exactly what I need. I love those old school ape films. Well, that was easier than I thought. Cool, I'll text you the info. Sweet. Uh, I mean, who doesn't like the video? I mean, wait, video, Planet of the Apes. Um, football? Oh, we're just exploring, I guess. David nope. talking to Nathan cannot be a good thing. This has something to do with Kate. 
or Rachel. This is a bus. A school bus taking us to Wales. Beloved music. Boy, there was no people on the bus earlier. We're on the road again. Oh. Uh. I wonder how the talk with Chloe will be. Hopefully nothing serious. I wonder if we'll just evacuate all the people first. I don't know. Right turn. Yeah. I'm guessing Wales is far away. The lighthouse. Where everyone dies, basically. And then we are there. To Wales. Don't try to take it from me. It's mine. I wouldn't dream of it. I'm gonna be a millionaire. Hope nobody steals my lottery. Talk about going back in time. The diner looks exactly the same. I should investigate the area. No time for chit chat. I'm a millionaire. Yep. Got my lottery ticket right here, waiting for the bus so I can cash it in. Sweet. Hi. You look... Alright, uh, we're, we're gonna end this soon. I just, just got off the school bus, but chit -chat. I'm sure the regular bus is coming too. Oh, that's a relief. <laughs> I can't be late for this job interview. I can't believe I have to take a bus all the way to Newport just to find a second job. Are things that bad here? Where are things good? I can't even afford to live here. Mm. Well, good luck. Thanks, I sure need it. Rip. Can we go? I don't want to go that way. Why? What? Ooh, I'm gonna be there first. Sweet. Okay, let's see what's over here. Exploring. Okay, nothing. Uh huh. There's a doggy. Stop that! Stop! No barking. There was something I creepy go. about that guy and his dog. There's that dirty RV from the other day. Hmm. Fisherman. Look at all these flyers. It's so sad that nobody will read them. Fisherman. Good morning. Looks like you're ready to catch some serious fish. I wish, young gal. Arcadia Bay just isn't the same fishing town I grew up in. Has the town changed much? By Neptune's beard, it has. Seems like Neptune. a lifetime ago when I was king of the harbor. Talk later. I'd love to learn more, but I have to get going. Happy fishing out there. Yeah. Happy fishing. Forget about whales. I'm exploring. Snow. Well, that's a good start to the story. 
Excuse me, sir? Can you believe this town? The world is on fire, and our big headline is snow. I can hardly wait for next week's big story. Clouds! Uh. The snow was pretty odd. It was right in the middle of a warm, sunny day. Oh, global warming bullshit. It's the Northwest. Snow happens. I keep reading how Arcadia Bay is booming. The paper can only talk about that or about missing girls. Hmm. This town is more like a mystery to me. You're young. You'll get over it. Hmm. All right, let's see what's over here. It's a homeless person. We should go say hi. Hello. Oh, look at you. A fine example of youth. I bet you're a senior student. Yes, I go to Blackwell Academy. I could tell you're a wise young woman. I know all about Blackwell and this town. Um, I bet you have dirt on the Prescott family. That whole family is dirty. They once done good things for Arcadia Bay. Those days are dead, like anything in their way. I know somebody who's being threatened by a Prescott. Then you be their guardian angel, because nothing gets in the way of that family, especially not the law. Hell, they own your school, Blackwell. Almost. Who's Price? You must know Joyce Price from the Two Whales Diner. She's fed me more than my own family. How's a daughter your age who's always in trouble? Married to a real prick. Um. Have you met Joyce's daughter? Cute girl. Pissed off. I used to see her and her pretty friend, uh, Rachel, around a lot. Hmm. Rachel. Do you know anything about Rachel Amber? That missing girl? We I know she's missing. I know she hung out here a bit. Sometimes I'd see her walking all by herself, deep in thought. Too damn young and pretty to look so worried. Hmm. Did you talk to her? Once or twice she'd talk to me about trouble in school. Wanting to be some model and California. California. But nice. I pray the poor thing is all right. But you can't save everybody. Uh, I have to go now. Goodbye. Nice talking with you. Let's see. What else is there? The back door. Um, I guess we can go in now. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we can't go that way. Let's just go in. Man, that smell of breakfast and the sound of clanging silverware uh, makes me feel 13 again. Hmm. Speak to everyone you, you meet. Ones today? If by big you mean none, then sure. I caught a lot of big ones today. Now let me mourn over my eggs. Rip. Weird lady. Hello there to you! Such a beautiful day, eh? Oh yeah, it's gonna be a super day. Enjoy your breakfast, eh? Canadian? Um. Oh man, I bet that's the same gum from when I was here last. Leafless. Why does that so not sound fun? Poster. The poster doesn't mention whacked students with guns. <laughs> Kate Marsh, love you long time? What? That graffiti has been here forever. Blush before... Oh. Um. Gross. Rachel A...
I can't read that. Fire Walker. Ah, uh, whatever. There's a doe. Arcadia. Okay. Let's continue. You'd never know how weird this town is by these postcards. <laughs> There's a kitty. Okay. Ah. Uh. I'm just gonna speak to all of these guys. Like shit. Oh. Too much beer, so spare me, please. Just let me suffer quietly. Oh. Cop. Hello, sir. Hi, young lady. You look a little lost. Hungry. Just hungry and thinking about what to eat. Now, that is a real problem at the uh, Two Wells. I can never decide. Joyce's pumpkin pie or grilled mac and cheese? Uh, Chloe. So, you know Chloe? Sadly, we all know Chloe down at the station. <sighs> Poor Joyce. Just heard that Chloe even had a pot dealer in her room. Mm. Uh, that's not good. Anyway, mm, that bacon sure smells good. Is she a friend <laughs> of yours? I know, I know her. her. Then you know she's a handful. No. No, I think she's just had some bad luck. You have to create your own good luck. I think Chloe would rather destroy. But I'm just a cop, not a psychologist, so... Yeah, uh, Joyce! How well do you know Joyce? I know her delicious grub. Everybody at the station comes here. We take care of this place like it's our own kitchen. And Joyce, like she's our... our mother. And I David. guess you're friends with David Madsen. I wouldn't use that word. We know each other. Why do you ask? Yeah, just curious. Just curious. I'm surprised he's not a police officer in Arcadia Bay. I have respect for David. He served his country. He found his calling at Blackwell. At the station, we're happy David is exactly where he is. <laughs> not everybody can be a cop. Mm. I have to go now. Enjoy your breakfast. By the way, one thing I can tell you for certain is to stay away from that RV outside. I usually stay away from sketchy parked vehicles. <laughs> Wise policy. The guy who lives in it, Frank, is pretty sketchy himself. That's all oh. I can say for now. I should finish up my coffee and get to work. You do that, good sir. I don't feel like talking right now. I gotta deliver a load of breakfast to my stomach. You Over got now. it. Um, bye. Uh, hello? Pardon moi, but you're in my eyesight. What? I got you Isn't in my sight. Isn't everything in here within eyesight? I don't care for your tone. You sound like Joyce. How does Joyce sound? Bossy and smartass. Like you. Oh. Why are you being so rude? Because I've been on the road for 12 hours straight, hopped up on coffee and diet pills, carrying two tons of nitrate, and all I want to do is eat a quiet breakfast and stare out the window. Do you mind? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh, want everything. <laughs> wall of Fame. <laughs> Forgot about the fishing wall of fame. Too bad something's wrong with their bay. Guitar. Oh yeah. Well, we'll end it here. Um, until next time, we're gonna have some breakfast with Chloe, the bestie. So, peace.